an armature is a skeleton for your objects. It is made up of multiple bones you can move around, making it easy for you to control things. Let's try adding one. Add an armature, single bone. Now we have an armature. Currently we are in object mode, so we can't do anything besides moving the entire armature around. If we want to change how the armature is actually built, we have to switch to edit mode. In here, we can change the shape and the position of the bones. We already have one bone created by default. If we select it, we can rotate and place it in the same way as when we control things in object mode. As you might see, a bone actually consists of two parts, a head and a tail. We can select them separately and move them around. If we look in the properties panel, we can indeed confirm that the position of the bone is decided by the position of two points, the head and the tail. The way it is rotated is decided by the roll value. By changing it, you can make the bone face another direction. Let's add another bone. Just place the 3D cursor where you want it to appear and press the same hotkey as when you add new objects. A bone is added. Currently, these two bones are completely independent. Moving one of them won't affect the other in any way. By using what is called parenting, we can make them interact with each other. Parenting is when one object gets the power to control a different object. The object in control is called a parent and the object being controlled is called a child. Let's parent the new bone to the original bone. First select the new bone, then shift select the original bone and then parent. Select keep offset. Now the original bone is a parent to the new bone and the new bone is a child to the original bone. Who is parent and who is child makes no difference here in edit mode, but it makes a big difference in what is called pose mode. Let's go there to take a look. In here, we can, as the name suggests, pose the bones, place, rotate and scale them. So, let's test our parent-child relationship. When I move the new bone, only that bone is moved. Children only affects themselves, never their parent. If I move the original bone, both bones are moved. Parents affects themselves and their children. You can always see the parent of a bone by looking in the bone panel. Select the new bone and take a look. Here you can see that its parent is bone and that it's not connected to it. What if it was connected? Since this changes how the armature is actually built, we have to go to edit mode to change it. Go to edit mode and activate the connected. Suddenly the head of the new bone jumps to the tail of the original bone. When bones are connected, they stick together so there can't be any space between them. If we now go back to pose mode, you can see that the new bone can't be moved freely anymore. It sticks to its parent. It can still be rotated and scaled, but it can't leave. And no matter how we change the parent, the child bone sticks to it, never leaving. Let's move our bones, rotate them and scale them. When we go back to edit mode, it looks just like before. This is because this is what the armature really looks like when we hide the current pose. When we pose an armature, what we are really doing is adding a temporary change to the original position of the bones, the rest position. Let's go back to pose mode. Here in the armature panel, we can switch between the pose position and the rest position. Click the rest position and the armature will look just like it does in edit mode. This is the real position of the bones, so the bones can naturally not be moved now. The rest position can only be changed in edit mode. If we switch back to pose position, we see the recurrent pose, which we can change in any way we want. We can easily remove our current pose and return the bones to their original position by selecting all bones and resetting the location, rotation and scale. When we now go between pose and rest position, you can see that both are identical. The armature hasn't been posed at all. So, what do you actually use these bones for? You use them to control other objects. Let's add a sphere. To make the armature control this sphere, we need to parent it to the armature. With the sphere selected, shift select the armature. We want to parent this sphere to a single bone within the armature. To be able to pick a certain bone, we have to enter pose mode. I want to parent it to the child bone, so select that and then parent. 
Here you have a lot of options, all allowing you to have this spoon or the entire armature affect the sphere in different ways. We are just going to select bone for now. This parents the sphere to the bone in the same way as when we parented the bones together. Moving the sphere moves just the sphere. Rotating the new bone rotates both the bone and the sphere. Rotating the original bone rotates everything. Having an object directly parented to a bone is just one of the ways an armature can affect different objects. We will explore more ways later on. Having big bones like this in the middle of your scene might not look very good, but don't worry. Armatures are not visible when you render, they are only used behind the scenes. This covers the basics of armatures. Armatures allows you to add skeletons to your scene, giving you the ability to easily control your objects. Thanks for watching.